you know what I mean? Like, now I feel bad, I tell you no. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay for you to say no. It's better that the other person feels bad instead of you feeling bad. That is so dope, honest to God. That shit looks good. I was trying this out to see if I liked it in the space in the kitchen, but I really did not. It looked tacky, so I took it off. And then <clears throat> I put this back. But this time I put the fruit bowl on top of there because I like the pop of colors and I feel like it looks a little bit better. I just need to make sure that fruits are always in there. And then I have those two organizers at the bottom there and the middle one here. I need to find something to do with that middle space. But I'm also not trying to like fold the space because it's not necessary. Because then things start looking a little bit crowdy and that's not what we're going for. And then I have this on the table. This is temporary. I just need to find a centerpiece. Which I think I have one. Oh! I made the top of my little whatever this is organizer marble too so i just need to put this stuff back on there but i'm too lazy and this right here i probably could put on the table it was on there before and i took it off i just don't know what i'm gonna do with this if i if i put this here it's cute like i said i had it here before this is the spot that i bought it for before so i like it here and you know the table does not look cluttered of course my vitamins I have to have it on there because I'm gonna forget and I need to be taking them especially working in a goddamn nursing home with sick old people so I guess for right now I could put this on here since the space is there so the table looks free of clutter I need to light my candle so it can smell nice in here but um yeah that's the update this is so cute and the door I'm so obsessed with the door and normally I'm so against people saying that they're obsessed with things but I'm literally so obsessed with this door. Hopefully the pictures turn out nicely when I take them in front of it. And this I need to fix right now because this is not it. And I ordered another shoe stand because the Target didn't have that one. So I ordered it from another Target and I'm waiting for it to get here. So yeah.
you know what I mean? Like, now I feel bad, I tell you no. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm starting the morning off right with breakfast. A cup of what I consider cold coffee because this is not iced coffee. And just sitting here and chilling. I've been working on the kitchen. Looks pretty decent so far. But um, yeah. So guys, I decided to fix my hair so I look semi-presentable because I really have to do better. I'm also thinking about taking some pictures for the gram later on. So I wanted to make sure that I look good. But I was talking to my friend earlier, the first clip that you guys saw in the beginning of this video. And you know, we were having a pretty fulfilling conversation in which we were talking about some things that happened last year and you know how sometimes it's okay to revoke people's access to you because sometimes people just don't deserve that and i was also telling her that you know it's okay to say no it's okay to tell people no and not feel bad at all because it's like she was pretty much saying that you know sometimes she don't want to say no because she doesn't want the other person to feel bad but i'm just like you don't say no and you feel bad because it's something that you probably didn't want to do to begin with somewhere that you probably didn't want to go to begin with it's okay for you to say no it's better that the other person feels bad instead of you feeling bad i'm not gonna put myself in an uncomfortable situation for nobody no more okay i'm at a point where i don't care if you feel bad i'm okay saying no i'm revoking the access that you once had to me so if you call my phone and i don't feel like answering I'm not gonna answer and it so happened that the person that we were talking about I was pretty much saying to her that I realized how much of a toxic person they were from the time last year that you know a specific situation happened that I don't wish to touch on because it involves other people and you have to be mindful of other people's feelings but I was telling her that that situation really opened up my eyes just to how the person was in general and it's so sad that some people are like that and I'm not gonna sit and let nobody use me you're being paid for a job you do the job you're not gonna collect nobody's money and then i'm gonna do the work because you're comfortable using other people in the name of friendship we have to realize that sometimes some people are not our friends and we are just convenient to them okay and because we're convenient to them they will forever use us and i was telling her like you have to you have to change like some people have to go through things to really realize and to learn from it I personally could see you go through something and I don't have to go through it to learn like I could see it coming from a mile away just because I've seen somebody else go through it but sometimes you have to tell people no and that be okay just to make sure that you are happy and you are fine it doesn't matter how they feel afterwards as long as you're good you have to make sure that you're good anyways you guys that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully I look a little bit more presentable than this but you know you guys already know what it's like some days Sometimes coffee, sometimes tea. Today, tea.